How energy gets to and moves around our planet. Energy from the sun is the primary source of energy for the Earth. This energy reaches our planet in the form of solar radiation, which includes visible light, ultraviolet light, and infrared radiation. Here's how this energy gets to and moves around our planet. Absorption and Reflection about 30% of incoming solar radiation is reflected back into space by clouds, atmospheric particles, and Earth's surface. The remaining 70% is absorbed by the atmosphere, oceans, and land, warming the planet. Energy Distribution The absorbed energy is redistributed across the globe through various processes. Atmospheric Circulation Warm air rises near the equator, moves toward the poles, cools, and then sinks, creating large-scale circulation patterns like the Hadley, Farrell, and Polar cells. This circulation distributes heat and moisture around the planet. Ocean currents. Oceans store and transport a significant amount of solar energy. Surface currents driven by wind and deep currents driven by temperature and salinity differences move warm water from the equator toward the poles and cold water from the poles toward the equator. This process helps regulate global climate. Radiation and convection. The Earth radiates energy back into space as infrared radiation. Some of this radiation is trapped by greenhouse gases, which warms the atmosphere and surface, creating what we call the greenhouse effect. Convection processes in the atmosphere further move heat energy by the rising and sinking of air masses. Changes in the global distribution of energy have significant impacts on Earth's climate and ecosystems. Climate change. Human activities like burning fossil fuels and deforestation are altering the natural energy balance by increasing greenhouse gas concentrations. This traps more heat in the atmosphere, leading to global warming and shifts in weather patterns, such as more intense storms, altered precipitation, and longer droughts. Altered ocean currents. Changes in temperature and salinity due to melting ice and warming waters can disrupt ocean currents. For example, the weakening of the Gulf Stream could lead to colder temperatures in Europe and altered weather patterns across the Atlantic. Impact on ecosystems and biodiversity. Shifts in energy distribution affect the habitats and life cycles of plants and animals. Species may be forced to migrate, adapt, or face extinction if they cannot survive in their altered environments. Sea level rise. Excess energy causes polar ice to melt and warm water to expand, leading to rising sea levels. This threatens coastal ecosystems and human settlements, leading to loss of biodiversity and displacement of populations. Changes in agricultural productivity. Variations in energy distribution can lead to changes in growing seasons, water availability, and the frequency of extreme weather events affecting crop yields and food security globally. In summary, the global distribution of energy is fundamental to maintaining climate stability and supporting life on Earth. Any significant changes to this distribution can have profound and far-reaching consequences for the planet's ecosystems, weather patterns, and human societies.